The title of this episode is called Dungeon. I like dungeons. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 14. Last episode, we fucked Salim. I'm gonna leave it at that, because you guys know what I mean. Fuck Salim, and we did it. We fucked Salim. So, uh, Julius Nova Chrono said that we should have, there's something that came up, and we should have them do the mission. Them, I'm assuming, is Asta and Yuno, but I also don't know how he would assign two magic squads, two night squads, to a single mission. So I'm curious as to who, and I'm curious as to the mission, and I'm curious as to the dungeon. But I'm also curious, this should be technically the first episode of the second opening. If it is, guys, remember, the full length, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available for the first and last episode of every opening for you guys for free. So check that link in the description below. Come back here for the review. If you guys like that format, consider checking out the Patreon and doing that for the future. It supports me, and I know you guys like it as well, if you do. If you want to support the channel, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment, it means oh, oh, oh so much. Other than that, let's hop into this. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter for the updates and for the video games, of course. Let's hop right into this Black Clover, episode 14, Dungeon. I do notice how this is the Clover Kingdom. There are clovers all over and how, yes. Which is good to know, especially because the other kingdoms are just like a deck of cards, you know? I love the colors. I love the aesthetic. I remember this from my opening reaction. I loved the colors. I'm gonna start saying the names now that I know them. Fucking Gray, Gordon. Yami, I saw Charmy in there. Obviously, Finral Luck, all the fucking captains. Paint it black, bish. Paint it black, bish. What color you want it? Paint it black, bish. Dungeon, episode 14. Let's do it. That was a fantastic opening. Fantastic. I was wondering why Magna was bouncing up and down. What are we trying to name? We're coming up with names for something. Thanks, Gray. Thinking of names. <laughs> I love this man, Gordon. Easily one of my favorite. Oh, they're coming up with a name for the anti-bird. That makes so much sense. The one that always is on Asta's head. Oh. Nero. I like it. Does it? Nero. <sighs> that man Gordon gets me every time. I mean, I know what a dungeon is in other shit. What does a dungeon in this world mean? I just went with the flow. <laughs> Hey, he reads the room pretty well. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what I would assume a dungeon was. I was just surprised that it just popped up out of nowhere. Like, a new dungeon has appeared. Ooh. Popped up near our enemy's border of the Clover Kingdom, and it's the enemy's border. Who? The Diamond Kingdom are enemies. Interesting. Got it. This is like some Hunter Hunter extinction level shit. What do you mean ultimate magic and what? Oh, he meant go to the dungeon. I thought he meant go, like, get out of the meeting. Yes! Yes! Because she was also there during the time. Oh. Oh, he just asked for Asta specifically because it was anti-magic, and she's just also new. So, go along. Makes sense. Wait, we're going with just luck? I wish they'd take you with them too, Gordon. I'll write that down. Good to know. 
that's cool that it's just like a little portal door. You know, you can really say your goodbyes. You know, it's also cool that you need someone that specializes in that magic like Fenrir, you know? That's good to know. I did not know that. Oh, he did say that. He has to have left a mark there. I remember he did say that. And so we're right up against the border of the Diamond Kingdom. So finral has been obviously to the border before. That's why he said this is a great place for dates. It's why he's been there before. It makes a lot of sense now. Six shit's clicking. Bro, Vanessa, god damn. Look at little Yami! Oh, I love that Yami said that. That is so cool. Oh, of course he's a weirdo. <laughs> so this is the dungeon. Oh, I was just expecting to see like mobs, like monsters, you know, we just gotta go fight. I'm so used to that. This literally looks like a dungeon you would see in a game with just no monsters. That's so cool. The water goes sideways, down, up to, you know, any which direction it feels. This is so weird. Space is warped. But you're cooler than that. Asa, you have something else that's even greater. Heart. Oh, trap magic. Okay, he took out his anti-magic sword. Gets rid of that rock in a heartbeat. Which is awesome. And then Asa can get rid of him. And if you went to this dungeon without having an anti-magic sword, which there is no anti-magic anything out there, it would be insanely hard. Okay, quick-ass luck. It's a very dangerous but true way of looking at it. <laughs> wow, that is good to know. In terms of his skill, he is up there with the with the best of them. It's just uh, his personality is a little out there. What is he doing? N from Hunter Hunter? What the hell is this? Lightning creation magic, which that, by the way, lightning magic is so awesome. Holy lightning boots. He definitely used some sort of N, which is like a barrier to be able to detect anything in its presence. So his electricity was letting him know there's other people over there. His electricity can even tell him... I love the mutual respect, yet admiration and determination they have. You know? He doesn't let someone else being so successful bring him down. He just wants to get past that. He gives him a new obscene dream, you know? Come on, Noel. Hurry up. Cut him off. I would have already cut those off. Asta. You can cut him off. Asta. Still could have cut him off by now. Asta. The thing just opened. Asta, you're still standing still. Got it. It's like a sarlacc. It just stays here dissolving you over a thousand years. It doesn't seem like lightning. So I don't think that's luck. But that didn't seem like wind. So I don't think that's you know either. Who I would assume is also going to be in the dungeon. Such precise and powerful magic. It is, you know. We get a reunion, finally! Episode 14, I'm excited. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! 
Klaus and Mimosa too. That is technically from back then. I like that. The repay the debt. You so, uh, it's definitely good to know that this show uses mana versus chi, like Dragon Ball Z, Chakra, Naruto, Nen, Hunter x Hunter. Um, it's not as severe as some of those, where this one, they said if you run out of mana, you just can't use magic until you recover, which, yes, puts you in a vulnerable position, but Naruto, if you run out of Chakra, you die, <laughs> so, because Chakra is sort of like life energy as well, so, like, you really can't live off of that. Um, but this one's a, a little bit different, which is is way more of like your typical mana sense, you know, like in typical games or anything like that. If you run out of mana, you don't die. You're just unable to use magic until you recover. Very realistic. I like that. Um, I also am interested in these. Oh, I want to see luck fight so bad. I'm also curious as to who he ran into because he detected somebody else, but we would have I, one would think he would be with the group coming to save us if he had if this was the group he'd run into but i don't think he and he looks so sadistic and evil like he like he seems like he wants to play fight all the time when he's back at the house but like he was legit willing to leave the two newbies with a very dangerous task let's say yuno wasn't there they might have died right there he was willing to do that all to to, to satisfy his need to fight so I guess I just want to see him fight, you know? But it's so good, so good seeing uh, not only the Golden Dawns, but the reunion between Yuno and Asta. I can't wait to see Noel and Yuno meet and talk. I also am curious that the Diamond Kingdom is uh, are an enemy kingdom. Uh, four suits in a deck of cards. So we are... We are the clubs, which is the clovers, the diamonds, heart, and then the spade. Spade kingdom, heart kingdom, diamond, and we're the clover kingdom. So diamonds are enemies. I gotta keep track because I don't, I can't, I can't assume they're all enemies. Some somebody's gotta work together, right? So, but at least we know for right now, diamond not good with us. And the dungeon hole aspect, where it's something made by people in the past to carry on a relic of great power is awesome and they imbue it with magical traps to prevent people from abusing it but it's crazy like if you guys haven't read the or if you haven't seen hunter hunter go watch hunter hunter absolutely incredible one of my, my favorite anime of all time but uh they have a power system very similar you know where it's sort of like magic sort of like mana where they can you do these abilities and such but there are some items and beings in there with magic that are like they're called calamities because they're really world ending possibilities and he said like like the, the ultimate magic like i'm just that makes me knowing already what potentially what scale those could be on you know having read hunter hunter the manga i'm just like i cannot wait i am excited I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully I can edit these right away, put these up. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. I know I just said that, but I repeated it because I love you guys so much. And I'm an idiot, so I'm going to go fuck off now. Have a great night, you guys. Peace out.